What's going on guys, Joe with MGRC.com. Welcome and happy new year, 2022. What's it gonna bring? <laughs> so I'm gonna show you guys a few things that's already been brought and also what are coming out and some sad news too. So um, let's get into uh, the website real quick here and I'll give you some other news and uh, the new stuff that's coming out. So I got all these little links here so that way I can show it all to you and I'll put links down in the description below. All right, so first things first, we did do some updates to the website. Probably have to make some other changes now that I just got some news right as I'm doing this video. I just stopped it and had to redo it again. All right, so cars and trucks. So let's say you're looking for um, maybe a certain type, maybe see what's available, but I want to kind of show you, you can go by brands. So what brands that we have available, you can check it all out and see which ones. You're like, oh yeah, I'm looking at Team Crowley or whatever. You can click on that one. You can even specify as far as price range. So really nice on that one. So anybody that's kind of just looking or they have a certain budget to kind of want to stay in, then uh, that will definitely help you. And availability. So what's available? So you can see a lot more stuff out of stock than what's in stock. <laughs> times crazy right now. All right. Speaking of times are crazy right now, jump back over to our website. I just got news that Venom Power... They're going out of business. So real bummer. I've had their batteries and chargers and I've really enjoyed them. So uh, anybody else that's had them or whatnot, yeah, this definitely a bummer for sure. So they will be missed as far as that company goes. And obviously those people with those jobs that won't have a job. So hopefully those guys get uh, new jobs quickly. So yeah, um, <clears throat> let's get into what is going on uh we got coupon codes so you can check those out as well and you can also subscribe to our newsletter right there boom so also we got you can contact us we got our hours here uh, these may change here but as of right now that's kind of just kind of give you an idea i'm always checking even afterwards but um yep there's a phone number you can always email us as well and you get more spam in these emails than anything else but all right so there's that um let's get into it hpi racing New body, same chassis. Don't see anything new on that one, but I want to share it with you. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, with Audi, I know even um, Ken Blocks kind of signed up with Audi and everything like that. Looks with their electric vehicle looked pretty sick. Uh, I saw it on like uh, YouTube. So there you go. So their Tron version GT brushless. So anything times it says like blocks in HPI is brushless. So that's just the motor. So here's the chassis. So I've had this before, but it was a Porsche, and it was cool. I did like it, but it really sat pretty low to the ground and where I'm at as far as surfaces that I ran on or run on. They're a little too rough for this being pretty low. But I want to kind of share it with you guys because you maybe have like a great surface to run on and cool. But I want to kind of give you that information also. But I like it. I think it looks good. Uh, you know, the, everything's going up in price, which is really a bummer, but that's that times changing. Uh, this thing says it'll do like around 70, but it does need the optional gearing. I don't think it's included. Mine didn't come with it when I had, uh, had one and you can run this thing on three S just keep an eye on the temperature. You know, it doesn't have any kind of cooling fan on it. So just be aware of that. I always kind of check that stuff, especially when you're running it, even in the summer, things get a little bit warm, especially here in Florida. So really cool, four wheel drive, all that good fun stuff. Yep, so let's go ahead and move on to, I guess it's Habao, I don't know, that's what I've been calling it. I'm just gonna go with that one for now. So so here's one and um, it is their Extreme. It's a one seven scale Extreme VT2. It's their on-road electric, almost ready to run. Um, so yeah, you, what you see, yeah, that's what you're gonna get. You don't get any tires, you don't get a body, no electronics in it. So if you already have that stuff, then this will work out for you. They've beefed up a lot of stuff on it. You can even see like with the, the spur gear here, looks to be just a solid uh, spool, meaning that there's no center differential uh, that is, can transfer power from one. It's the, like motor sits here, power, just direct. And then it's all just transferred through your front and rear differentials and that depending on what kind of fluids you stick in there how it's going to car is going to kind of handle but yeah mod one gears which they've always kind of that i've known 
with the vehicles that they've had mod one gears in. So nice chunky gears, nice and beefy. So pretty awesome on this one. And um, yeah, you can kind of see as far as optional parts and everything. So definitely check this thing out. I don't have an ETA, unfortunately, when this will be coming out exactly. But just stay tuned and you can always click on notify me when available. Just drop your email address in there and boop, when it shows that it's available, boop, you'll get an email. So there you go. Pretty awesome. So cool. Can't wait to see that one. Um, let me go back one because there is more, which is the uh, 1.8 scale Hyper VS2. So this is their buggy, which is an, again like this one, but this one comes with tires the almost ready to run so it's more or less kind of a kit it's already assembled there's very little assembly that you got to do to it so keep that in mind so it's gonna when you get it you're like oh i don't have to put it all together no so that's a good thing in most cases i do like kits but there you go so they have the electric one they have i'm sorry they have well this is electric and but it's their call almost ready to run setup so you put your own electronics in it so i can show you that one so here you go so like this one has the center differential which like the other one I was showing you didn't. So there you go. But nice aluminum shocks and everything. They're nice. I not had really any complaints as far as when it comes to the Habao lineup. Honestly, their stuff's pretty nice. So I like it. You guys leave me let leave comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about them. But I've had a good experience. Doesn't mean everybody does. But I figured, hey, um, I've had bad experiences on other cars, but I'm not generally too rough. Now I will say this one here. I blew a tire on it. It it pizza cutter wheels on there. It wobbles. That one's a little bit weird. That was one that Habao had sent me before, and I was thankful. But it did. Uh, it has wobbles when it's on road. Off road, nah, it's all good. But on road, it was definitely a handful to control. Um, when it comes, here's the electric one, so you can kind of see it all. This would be 6s power that it comes with. But no battery, but you will get the electronics in there. So, and it's 620 bucks. Damn, the price has just gone up so much. It's, I thought they were, they were, I think they might've been like, I don't know, I kept thinking these things were like four or something at one point in time, but yeah, they've gone up and up and up 500, 600 now. So things are just getting crazy on the cost. So, but there you go. So let's go ahead and jump over to the Nitro one for those Nitro guys that are out there. Um, I breathe this stuff it smells good as far as the nitro stuff we'll give it that um so but yeah there's the nitro setup on it and like i said i'll put links down in the description below you guys can kind of read again at your own leisure on that one new top speed muffler and header oh, aluminum okay polish natural finish all right cool so there you go nitro i haven't had a nitro vehicle in 20 years so that i don't have much experience at all with it none all right, so there you go. So like I said, I'll put links down in the description below. You guys can check it out. And also we use Klarna, so you can always pay these over time. So it's not like, uh, and you'll see the Klarna, I'll show you in this one here. The old Klarna should pop up here. Oh, well, it's because it's sold out, so it's not gonna show anything like that. But we have a payment option, so we'll get to one, and I'll show you that payment option. There's the old Klarna. All right, so McLan just released this. Well, it hasn't been released as of yet but they just let everybody know about it. Within the last few days or so, uh, or a week, they're like, hey, coming out the new one, the DRK160 Plus. So revised uh, circuit board stages, seven stage now. So using 12 gauge wires, these are 10 gauge wires. Uh, they won't have the DRK160, the one, the predecessor before this, that one will be obsolete here soon so whatever you see on the shelves that'll be it whatever they have left in the inventory and then this dude comes out so this will be coming out uh mid this month so i mean, i don't i would be taking pre-orders the thing is i back ordered them like even before they mentioned it uh through our my distributor but uh i'm gonna wait and the reason why is because i want to make sure that i'm actually going to get some because these things sometimes are when they're when uh, McLean comes out with them or anybody else, it seems to be a little bit on the short side of it all, and you might not we might not get some. So I'm hoping we'll get them. And they do have a three turn brushless motor for it. Uh, the previous version 
was not allowed or was not capable of a three turn. And you can debate that one all day, but this one says it's capable of it. So they say 3.5 and 4.5 brushless motor turn motors for their previous one and this one. So this can run like a 3.0, it can run a 3.5, 4.0 uh, turn brushless motor. And they obviously recommend it, their McLan motor. So we'll have a few of those in stock as well once we do get some of them, the 3.0s. So get on that notifi notification list. Wow, Connie, that one just kind of came out really bad. All right, so there you go. Pretty cool. Anyway, this, the stages and everything like that, I think they've increased a few things here too as far as timing. But there's lots of options. It is cool. Uh, if you're kind of new to the hobby and everything, this is actually pretty good because it's going to help you out a lot. It's kind of... Like, okay, I'll just increase it a little bit. You need the Wi-Fi module or you'll need a, what is that, OTG cable, da, 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 OTG cable. They're like a few bucks, man. You can get them on wherever, Amazon, wherever, eBay. You can get these cables and you can plug it into, uh, probably an Android phone would work. I tried it on my iPhone and yeah, that was no bueno. So... Uh, you either get the Wi-Fi module, you can use the computer, and that stinks to use a computer unless it's a laptop, then you can tune it that way, or you just use um, this cable. So there you go. Pretty dope. Um, they got cool stuff. I'm surprised they went with these bigger caps too, because they were using like a little six little caps, and they're like, yeah, this is what we found was good, and now they felt like they backpedaled on that one, and like, yeah, now we're using two big caps on there instead of the smaller cap. So, hey, uh, R&D, you know, they're they're tuning they're listening they're watching as far as all that stuff happening so what they say sometimes is that you know like oops well hey people make mistakes so there you go as long as they're progressing and not backpedaling then we're all right <laughs> i don't know what i did there but all right let's go with this next one all right so we got the g made kind of weird because g made does crawlers and we got an on-road car here not much information on this one, but I want to share it because the price was like really good. And I was like, man, it's going to be carbon fiber and aluminum. That's pretty much it. A little bit of plastic that you see here is going to be like the rims, the spur gear, maybe the little tops of the, uh, where the, the screw goes and holds in. I don't know, as far as just the uh, shock itself, but lots of aluminum and carbon fiber. So not too bad as far as the price point on it, to be honest with you. I mean, you try finding stuff that's carbon fiber, whole, everything, and aluminum, and tell me, let me know as far as that goes, because uh, that seems like a pretty good deal, what you can make it into. You don't get any electronics with it, no body with it. And it's kind of good. It's kind of interesting as far as they have a front bumper and a rear bumper. So, hey, there you go. Pretty cool. Um, here we go, Klarna. That's what I was getting into before. So you can see here, four interest-free payments, $39.99. So you can really kind of break it down. And it goes like, you can learn more. So you can click on it. And then it tell you here, oh, interest-free. They kind of split it up. It's basically like bi-weekly. So you can look at all the terms and all that good fun stuff. So I don't get in trouble. I can't want to, I don't want to get into all of it. <laughs> uh, so I don't want to mess up. So, all right. Well, there you go on that one. So hopefully you like it. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about it. All right, let me back on this one a little bit. And the Sin Racing Trucks. So F450s. Pretty awesome. Uh, they did go up in price a little bit, like 30 bucks. But uh, they got different colors now, different rim options. Lots of options when it comes to like the trailing arms. You can get like the hitch has been out for a while. The gears. You can get a lot of stuff for this thing now. It's becoming more available. All these, a lot of more aftermarket parts. And even parts that Sin Racing is uh, coming out with so i've seen it where they lifted the thing up it looks awesome they've dropped it down i'm not so much on the dropping it down on the ground but lifting it up i'm more on that part of it looks pretty dope put some big old tires on it but uh teach their own and if you're at like kind of like a little car show you can drop it down put some lights on it you know do whatever you want to do i would like speaking of lights light buckets man light buckets that'd be awesome Front, rear, light buckets for the truck. And maybe get rid of this whole like sticker tent and actually make it so it's clear. I don't know. What do you guys think about that one? I would like to have that. Maybe have it where you could put interior because there is room in this thing too. So you can at least have it clear. I don't know. But you can always buy the clear bodies, do your own thing, and 
turn it into some awesome RC. So there you go. Appreciate you guys watching as always. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check us out at where? Yeah, man. OMGRC.com. Check it out. Uh, plenty of stuff on here. We just updated the website other than that sad news for Venom that's going out of business. But um, we'll still have some of the Venom stuff until it's depleted. All that good. So appreciate you watching as always. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check us out. I just like looped my whole self again, didn't I? That's all right. Hey, repeat it. And then maybe you guys remember. <laughs> all right. You guys take care. Peace.